All right, so we're gonna talk about jerk baits today. Typically, you wanna fish a jerk bait in a really clear water environment. It's when they typically perform best. Uh, today, it's a little bit overcast outside, sort of partly cloudy, um, which means the fish will be out moving a little more than they normally would if it was sunny. Now, the thing about jerkbaits is, is typically you do want a little bit of wind on the water. Overcast is not so much important as the, is the wind. Uh, kind of help break up the shape of that jerkbait. Now, being that we're at the river, uh, it's all pretty protected and it's tougher to get that wind on the surface. But a jerkbait can still be uh, productive. Biggest thing, about these is just your cadence. So we're doing a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, pause again. Those pauses are really important because that's typically when you're going to draw 90% of your strikes. And you just play around with your cadence till something works. So we'll go, you know, twitch, 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 pause. Twitch, twitch, pause. Twitch, 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 pause. Twitch, pause. There's really, you're only limited by the number of different cadences you can come up with, really. Oh, it came off. Most important factor when you're working one of these baits is you want to work it with slack in the line. So you're popping that slack and feeling it really jerk. And that slack is what gives it that action. Just like a top water, but it's walking underneath. Another important thing to keep in mind when using this type of bait is the type of rod, reel, and line you're using. I'm using a six foot eight medium action rod and I'm fishing 10 pound line. The 10 pound line really helps it get down there and you want that invisibility factor. I'm using fluorocarbon. So fluorocarbon is super invisible to these fish underwater and it helps you get more strikes in this clear water environment. Uh, now the type of reel I'm using, that's a 13 inception in like an 8 to 1 ratio. It's probably a little bit fast of a ratio for most people, but when you're in these rivers, it helps to have a little bit faster ratio because the, the bait is constantly being moved by the current. So it helps you pick up that slack uh, a lot easier. and I still think it's maybe a little bit quick even for that. My favorite ratio to use really when I'm fishing around here is, a, is in the seven to one range. Um, just a good all around ratio for fishing anything, anything I can think of. I fish it on spinner baits, I fish it on jigs, I like it on jerk baits. There's a fish right there. I think he's a little guy. You also got to remember to play them. You have all these little treble hooks and they can throw them really easy. You don't want them to jump out of the water too far. Just remember to take your time when you're trying to land these fish. Yeah, little guy. Looks like he's got both hooks. I don't have my pliers with me today, so I might actually just try to shake him off. Or get him to shake himself off. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably hooked pretty good. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let him sort of tire himself out. Okay, he's freed himself of one of the troubles. I just don't want him to put a hook in my hand. So you let them tire themselves out where he can't thrash and put one of those trebles in you. All right, he, he looks pretty tired. So let's get a control of his head since that hook is in his side. This way he can't move and get one of these hooks in me. It's always a good idea to have pliers on you, especially when you're fishing treble hook lures. I just forgot mine today, but as you can see, he wasn't afraid to hit that lure at all. It was almost the size of him. It's a Rapala um, Shadow Wrap Shad. I like this bait a lot because it has sort of a rising action. I can twitch it a couple times, it'll get down and it'll slowly rise up to the top. I like it for fishing over the tops of grass and things like that. And it's just really good for warmer water fisheries like this. Now on this one, hook set's really important because you don't want to tear those small treble hooks out. So really what you want to do when you set the hook is you just want to sort of turn your hips into it. No real strong over the head hook set, just sort of turn into it real nice and easy. There's one. <laughs> Itty bitty guy. Oh, he's hung in the grass now. That may be one of the smallest bass. Look. Hold on there. Now, this technique catches big ones too, but I want you to look. He was not afraid to hit that thing. Also, you'll notice I got a different lure tied on. This is a, <clears throat> a little bitty X wrap. Uh, don't be afraid to change it up, you know, unless you have a, you know, three or four pounder hit the first time try a different color maybe you know maybe the big ones really want something different i appreciate y'all watching if you haven't already subscribed please hit that subscribe button below